Hi guys, Anas Frost from Play.gg here. The Legend Stage Pagan Challenge has just gone live. CSGO tweeted that a couple of minutes ago. So it's time to pick our teams who are going to do well and also a team who's not going to do that well for the next uh, stage of the uh, PGL and Verb Major. We hope we can help you guys here at PlayGG. We are watching Counter-Strike 24-7, so we hope we can give you some good advice and uh, some good tips for the uh, next stage. Let's take a look at it. So, let's start with the 0 and 3 pick over here. As you can see, we need to make uh, 9 selections and we need to have 5 picks uh, that are correct. So that's important to uh, first realize that we only need five to be correct. Everything else is just uh, icing on the cake. It doesn't really matter. So the five correct pick and predictions uh, are vital and uh, I'm gonna stress that out later what's important and what's not important. But I think we can start by uh, making a guess of our a zero and three team for this uh, upcoming legends stage here i have uh, chosen a uh, team uh, i've chosen imperial and you know the brazilians was the last team to uh, to qualify for the uh, stage my guesses were uh, either imperial or bad news eagles but looking at the first round draw Bad News Eagles are going up against uh, Copenhagen Flames, uh, who they have a really good record against. They actually won the last three matches against Copenhagen Flames, so that pick could already be gone in the first round. Remember, it's the best of one uh, match, so everything can happen in this early stage of the, of the Legend stage. So our pick is uh, Fallen's Imperial. Um, they made it through, and it was pretty cool to see. And Perhaps they could be uh, on a good uh, form. Maybe it's wrong to pick them here, but I think they are among the weakest teams of of, of these uh, 16 teams that uh, have made it through to the legend stage. The 3-0 pick is the pick that is uh, most interesting because I think it's the pick that most people get wrong. Uh, your initial thought is to put uh, your favorite for the uh, for the legend stage here, either Navi or G2 or whoever you might have as a favorite, but that would be a mistake. Uh, you should use the 3-0 pick as a pick for one of the teams that you think could have a possibility of qualifying, but you're not really sure. So uh, a good example of that could be the Copenhagen Flames from last year's Stockholm Challenger stage, uh, where they went 3-0, even though you might not have expected them to actually progress in the tournament. They did very well, and they surprised a lot of uh, people by going 3-0 uh, or, or by qualifying in the first place. So we should pick a team here that could go either way. That's my opinion, at least. And I've chosen big. Big is a team that is up and down all the time. It's incredible hard to predict where they are going and uh, how they are doing at events. You know, they didn't even qualify for IEM Katowice while they did excellently in the RMR group qualifier for, for this event. So uh, what uh, kind of big are we going to see at this event? It could be a big that's going 3-0. It could be a big that's going out of the legend stage. Uh, so it's hard to predict big and therefore I really don't want them in my seven safe bets down here for, for teams that I think we're gonna make it through. I'd rather have them up here than they can go uh, Bonanza, as they sometimes does, or they can be knocked out, and then we really don't care because uh, we have them up here. So my safe picks and our safe picks for the uh, legend stage at Antwerp is Navi. First of all, I'm gonna put them there. Uh, a great team with the the defending champions with Simple. Of course, there's uh, 
all these things going on in the world right now uh, where we really don't know what kind of shape Navi is in right now, how much have they practiced and so on. But my uh, guess would be that even though they might not be at their highest uh, form right now, uh, they are still an excellent team and they will press and make it through to the champion stage. Uh, with them, Face Clan, uh, the uh, winners of uh, ESL Pro League and IM Katowice should, uh, should not uh, be explained anymore else. Uh, G2 should also be a team that's going to make it through. Um, they went 3-0 and in the challenger stage and even though I can see them uh, lose a round early because G2 are actually facing Navi in the first round. So that's also a reason why I don't want to put either Navi or G2 up here in the 3-0 stage because they are facing each other uh, in the first round. Um, so let's uh, move on. I'm gonna have uh, Ninjas in pajamas uh, also as a team. I think we'll move on. I think they're also shown some very good Counter-Strike and they are a team that are doing uh, really well and a team that despite not having a, a true offer if you want to say it like that, they are actually doing pretty well uh, regardless. Uh, Vitality, I think they were a very uh, good surprise uh, at the Challenger stage. Saibu played really very, very well and Misuta also had uh, upped his game. So Vitality looked like a team that could do some damage at this tournament. So I'm really ha happy to see that because there are a lot of good players on the team and it's, it's fun to see an international team if they can work it out um, in the same way as FaZe, for example. We have Heroic as another pick for uh, the uh, Legend stage or the gem stage. Um, and then our last pick is a difficult one. I have uh, four teams that I want to put in that bracket. I have Ens, I have Furia, I have Cloud9, and I have Copenhagen Flames as an outsider. And uh, I think it's really tough. Uh, it could go a lot of ways. But uh, I'm actually picking Ens. Um, we've seen Ens already, and they are a good team. They are a aggressive team and they can do a lot of damage against a lot of different teams so they are a team that could go through and um, yeah so we have cloud nine uh, who's not played a game for a while after they changed from uh, from players to cloud nine and um, they had a pretty easy route to getting legend the legend spots um, so the question is, how good are they? Can they uh, make it all the way? We could have, might as well pick them. So it's not like I think Cloud9 is a bad team or anything else. Um, if I had eight spots here, I would probably have picked Cloud9 as the eight team. Furia, uh, I was so excited to see them at the RMR, but then they lost uh, to MIBR, I think it was. Uh, shortly after and then again uh, North American and South American teams against European teams we have seen that that there is a big difference in in level uh, right now between Europe and the rest of the world so that's why I uh, haven't picked Furia that might come back to haunt me later on but this is the picks that we have uh, chosen and that we are believing in so I hope this can give you some ideas of uh, what to pick. Uh, right now on your screen you can see the uh, the draw for the first round on our site play.gg. Feel free to visit it. We are updating with news every day and we have live score and we are making a lot of new fresh content every day. So I hope you guys will uh, Come to PlayGG and uh, look at our website and see what we got for you guys. My name is Anas Frost. I want to say thank you for watching this and best of luck in all of your picking predictions.